All right, let's now give you some breaking inputs where the American President Joe Bon has reportedly written a letter to the Pakistani Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif stating that Washington will continue to stand with Pakistan to tackle the most pressing global and regional challenges. This marks Joe Bon's first official communication with any Pakistani Prime Minister in years. The President Baden broke with tradition by not engaging with any of the Prime Ministers in Pakistan during his tenure. He had neither telephoned the former Prime Minister Imran Khan after his election victory, nor had he spoken to Shahbaz Sharif when he had succeeded him in April 2022. So this is an interesting development considering that this is happening in the final year of Joe Biden's presidency when he's due for election. And my colleague Susan Tehrani, of course, is joining us with more details on this. Susan, try help us understand as to what's happening. Why has Joe Biden now written a letter to the Pakistani Prime Minister after having been very quiet, some would say, for over three years? Yeah, the Biden administration seems to be breaking ties with uh, the United States uh, foreign policy. If you remember, uh, they reached out for that nuclear agreement with Iran. And you may remember, Mohammed, and our viewers may remember, last year during the United Nations General Assembly, uh, about two years ago, uh, when Shabat Sharif was the interim leader of Pakistan, Joe Biden invited him unofficially to one of his uh, delegates' events, and the two men shook hands and they briefly talked. That was an unofficial meeting, but I think that's sort of the part and the way that this leeway opened uh, between uh, Joe Biden's administration and Shabazz Sharif's um, administration in Pakistan as well. So this maybe unofficial contacts had been going on during this time, and he finally wrote this letter uh, but it is very interesting that the Biden administration seems to be, uh, you know, breaking the tradition usually with what American policy, American foreign policy is and the norms that, um, you know, uh, uh, the executive power and the executive branch have, have followed for so many years. Like I mentioned, this really reminds us of how it reached out to Iran as well, uh, trying to really revive that nuclear deal. Obama started it. Biden wanted to continue with it. So... You know, these um, odd alliances in the Middle East region is something that the State Department apparently is after. All right. Very interesting. Thank you very much indeed, Susan Tehrani, for joining us and getting us that perspective there. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.